Hello everybody, this is Steven with another Pixel for Live video tutorial. So uh, we've been working on a new website design for Pixel for Life and I came to the conclusion that no website is complete without at least some simple social media icons. So in this tutorial I'm going to be showing how to create some pretty simple icons that are 100% from scratch and vector. So to start off we are going to create a new layer and then select this red color over here so it matches the rest of the theme and then I'm going to use an elliptical tool because I want to create a circle background. So I'll just draw, draw out a size that looks good, something like that. And then I'm just going to center it real quick. Now I can grab the rounded rectangle tool and I'm going to try and create the letter T from the Twitter icon. So I'm trying to size this up, uh, get a good look for it. I'm going to use a radius of 10 for the rectangle because that looks about right. And then I'm going to direct select it and then hold down alt and drag it over to duplicate it and then click the second button so it actually punches that out of the shape and now this corner looks a little off um, let me try lining this up first as you can see over here this is not as round as that bottom part so I'm just going to actually delete that and then create a new rectangle and let's bring that down to let's try five and that's looking good um, but it's on the wrong. Let me select it and then punch it out. There we go. <laughs> and then just move it over to place. That's good enough. And then when you're happy with it, you can go ahead and select both shapes and then go to combine and that'll create it into one shape. Now I'm going to go to my path selection tool and just um, actually you want to go to this convert anchor points and just sharpen off those edges. <clears throat> I'm going to do the same thing over here and then just line those up like that. Now you can see we've got the lower part of the T. Um, just need a little bit of tweaking to get it correct. Now you can grab your ellipse vector tool and we're going to round off these edges over here. So I'm going to hold down shift and just draw out a perfect circle. It's about the same diameter as the squares or the rectangles and then just line it up like that. You can see it gives it a nice smooth circle. So we'll just go ahead and duplicate it, drag it to the top, and now this top area looks like it's thicker than the bottom. So we'll just go ahead and tweak that with the path selection tool and just um, grab these three points and drag it over just so it lines up with the edge of the circle. That's perfect. All right, so now that we have this awesome looking L shape, we, uh, we need to create the cross part of the T. So let's see where it goes proportionally. Yeah, that's about right. Um, let's put it back onto the layer with everything else. So I'm just going to select it, copy it, go to that other layer, and just paste it in. And then we can just delete this top one. Don't need it anymore. All right. So now I can select this circle here. So we have the same proportions, the same edge circle thingy. Just going to hold on Alt and drag it over. And it looks like the rectangle needs to be become a little bit taller so let's zoom in and just select this point in this one and just bring it down um, it's getting a little bit fuzzy let's see all right so we actually uh, have to bring down this circle so I'm gonna go to the path selection tool and just click and drag it down just a little bit so it lines up better with the pixels and that's good enough um, let me see this upper arm and the lower arm, they need to be lined up evenly. So I'm just going to drag the bottom one backwards a little bit just to line it up with that pixel line. And that's looking pretty good. Now let's uh, change this color to white so it looks more like Twitter. And well, actually, Twitter's not white, but it'll stand out better on the red that way. And then let's drag it over to the circle and scale it down so it's proportional. And we can see what everything is looking like and it kind of looks a little funky like the letter E sort of so I think we need to mess with this a little bit more uh, let me just scale it so it's so it's correct so I'm going to grab this uh, the white arrow over here um, yeah the direct selection tool 
and I'm just gonna do a lot of tweaking. I'm speeding up this part right here because it's it's pretty boring to watch. I just keep uh, fiddling with it until it becomes correct, scaling it up and moving points around, always keeping an eye on the actual logo to see what that looks like. So now one last thing I do is I just shrink up this that whole area so the gap between the top arm and the bottom arm is smaller and then just center it inside the button and that's good enough. I'm going to leave it right there. Alright so I'm um, just checking the color make sure I have it correct and now let's start with the uh, the hover state of it. Um, let's try adding a drop shadow which is just going to be like a little glow at the bottom. I'm going to go to normal and make it white. This is just some typical stuff that I do. A distance of one, size of um, go with zero and change the angle to 90 degrees so then the glow is on the bottom and then just lower that opacity so it's very subtle. Now you want to show that uh, you're hovering over it so I'm going to do an inner shadow so it kind of looks like it's pressed in a little bit but first we got to do a stroke and I'm just going to make it the same red as the button like that and let's see I don't really like that drop shadow too much bring down this inner shadow a little bit so it's not so so boom in your face and that looks pretty good and I'm just gonna take off that drop shadow alright so now we can duplicate this layer I'm gonna call it hover H-O-V-E-R and then go back to that first layer and call it normal and just remove all effects from it so there we go so then you have normal state and hover state. Just very subtle, but it's a little something that you'll see once you hover over the icon. I forgot to add a stroke to this first normal state, so that way it lines up perfectly. Okay, that's good. Let's name this top layer to Twitter. And then take it all, and we'll just move it into place. And then duplicate all that, because we're going to create one more icon. Go ahead and control G to group those, and these right here, the bottom ones, we're going to name this Twitter, and the top one is going to be called Google Plus. We're just going to do a simple Google Plus icon. So select that top layer and zoom in so we can use some of the same elements. Um, let's see. We are going to go to our path selection tool and select the circle and duplicate it over to the other side maybe a little bit farther out and we're going to be creating a plus sign and then you can just delete these bottom this you know the L shape we don't need that anymore go to your drug selection tool and just um, yeah, extend out this arm right here that way it uh, looks like a nice rounded corner line and you could have done this with a rounded rectangle and just brought up the radius but I like to do it this way better uh, it's, it's more accurate Alright, so now that we have that, we can just select all three of those layers, duplicate it. Um, actually, we're going to line it up first because I'm getting some jaggedy edges, but I'll just leave it like that. Alright, go ahead and duplicate it. Control T and rotate it 90 degrees so we get that cross looking shape just like that. Very simple. And now we can just center it inside of the button right there. Looks good. And that's all we're going to be doing for. Uh, icon wise. Let's zoom out and see what that looks like. They look a little bit big so I'm going to select the Google and the Twitter icons Control T and just scale them down just a little bit and they're vector so scaling is going to be no problem at all and that looks great to me. Alrighty that's going to finish off this tutorial. I hope you guys learned something new that you don't always have to uh, you know, take someone else's icons you can just quickly make your own and it's more customizable that way. Be sure to check us out on Twitter and slap that like button so thanks for watching and see you next time.